Hello, hello, I'm Sasha of Sasha Makes Cards, and today I'm here with Whimsy Stamps sharing how I made this very spooky Halloween themed card featuring the Dead Dolly clear stamp set, as well as the paint splatters background, which, spoiler alert, is not going to be used for paint splatters. The Dead Dolly stamp set features five images, three of which are the main dolly images, one is the skeleton crow, and then one is an eyeball. The stamp set also features six sentiments. Today, I've decided to stamp two of the dollies onto a 100 pound hammer mill cardstock using an alcohol marker friendly ink. For this, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. Once I have those stamped, I then fussy cut them out using a pair of spring assistant scissors. Once I have those images cut out, I then can start coloring. Today, I'm going to be using Ohuhu alcohol markers to color these images. Here is the color combinations I'm going with today. As well, the colors I'm using are on, on the screen in the bottom left-hand corner, so it is very easy to see exactly which color I'm using for what. Today, I'm doing a bit of a different color combination than what I normally do. Since they are called dead dollies, I wanted them to look dead. I wanted them to kind of look zombie-like, decaying. So for the main color combination I'm using today, it's kind of a grayish, green, yellowish color combination. As I was deciding on the colors I was going to be using today, as I'm pulling them out of the case that I keep them in and referring to the color chart, I really wasn't sure if it was going to work. I was testing it out, but I'm thinking, you know what? This actually might not be too bad. So working from my darkest color to my lightest color, I start off with CG050 then Y250, then G220, and lastly Y010. Color the eye as well as the dolly's shirt. I use a pretty simple bluish gray color combination. For this, I start off with MG100, then BG205, and lastly BG203. As for the hair, I use E460 and E450. Once I'm happy with my coloring, using the Ohuhu alcohol markers, I then use some Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. Now, since these are dead decaying dolls and that's the kind of look I'm going for, I decided to actually use the black Prismacolor Premier colored pencil. You can use a marker, a regular pencil crayon. It doesn't have to be a Prismacolor and add it some cracks onto the dolly's heads to make it kind of look like they're porcelain dolls that are chipping away due to age. With the dolls fully colored, I can now move on to creating the background. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the look I'm going for with the dolls is a kind of grungy, decaying, old, zombie-like kind of look. I decided I want the background to be kind of appear like moldy paper, <laughs> which is, I don't know. As soon as I saw the stamp set and I was kind of figuring out what I wanted to make with it, my first thought was I wanted it to look like moldy paper. I don't know if I did that idea much justice. I think it looks kind of like moldy paper. I'm kind of happy with how it looks. As I was completing the background, I had images up from Google of moldy paper on my screen to kind of get an idea of the colors to use and I think overall it kind of gives off the appearance of moldy paper and matches the appearance of the dolls as well. At least I think so. That's what I'm going to tell myself. <laughs> but anyways, to do this I used a ton of different colors of Distress Oxides. I used Frayed Burlap, Scorched Timber, Black Soot, Shabby Shutters, Mowed Lawn, Scattered Straw, just a bunch of different colors. I used blending brushes to pretty haphazardly just lay down the color as since I'm creating moldy paper, it really does not matter how it looks. I also used some candied apple distress oxide to stamp on the paint splatter background onto the background of my card. Of course, it's not actually paint splatters, but I used that to add a little bit of color and a little bit more spookiness to the card. To give it the appearance of really old moldy paper. I also very heavily crumpled it. For this, I just, it's my favorite part of distressing, 
just crumpled it all up using my hands as and then i also distressed the edges a little bit using a pair of scissors now when you're doing this you do have to be careful as the red paint splatters may be joined by some real life paint splatters so make sure you are careful if you choose to distress the edges of your background using a pair of scissors there are also tools out there that are made to safely distress the edges of your paper however i don't actually have any of those so scissors is what i used now to finish off the card all i have to do is glue down all of the elements onto an a2 size card base i first glued on the background to my card base using some liquid adhesive glue However, once I had glued it down, I decided to take a little bit more scorched timber and a mini round blending brush to add a little bit more color to the edges. So I didn't want the stark white to contrast so much with the moldy style paper that I created. I then also glued down the two dolly images onto the background, as well as a sentiment I stamped off camera and distressed in a similar way to how I just did the card using one of my favorite inks when it comes to distressing the Scorched Timber Distress Oxide. And that is the completed, very spooky card project for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the description below for a list of the Whimsy Stamps products I use to create this card, as well as some links to shop if you would like to treat yourself to some spooky Halloween crafting. As well, there are links to both my social media and, of course, the Whimsy Stamps social media. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.